We're back, everyone, with another episode of Game Informer Super Replay of Resident Evil. Hello. Hope you're all doing well. I'm Andrew Reiner. Ben Reeves is here. Can't get rid of me. No, we can't. Tim Turry's playing. Oh, hello. Look at him. He's Jill Valentine. That's me. And Jeff Cork's still out. We'll go into that in a second. Jeff Marquefava's back again. Yes, replacement Jeff. That's not your official title, but I do like it. We could put it on your business card. Okay. It's up to you. How about yeah. Good it's, enough, Jeff. I feel... Yeah, maybe like a comma after editor, you know, it's kind of like, <laughs> not. I'm not just a replacement Jeff, but I can be a replacement Jeff. When we need if you need one, like a clown at a party for any Jeff. Yeah, I mean. For all your Jeff needs. Uh, Tim Terry, sure. what's going on with Jeff Cork these days? Uh, gosh, I, I don't know. I We haven't seen him for a little while. Uh, I thought he was supposed to be coming back pretty soon, but I've left him some voicemails. He sends some texts, but... Um, I don't know. He must be really under the weather. They, I, they're kind of hard to read. So Was it kind of the itchy, tasty kind of thing? Is he at that phase now? Uh, I, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Um, but, you know, if we hear from him, we'll definitely keep everyone involved. Because I know people care about Jeff. So uh, we'll keep you all updated, you know, uh, if we hear anything. Right. You'll, you'll know. Or read anything. We'll see. Did you guys hear that news story about a suburban man who ate a dog? Oh, where, where, whereabouts was that? I don't know. I think it's it's one of the suburbs here. I think it's oh local, close to Jeff's house. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, we should alert him. Let him know. Yeah. Yeah. That There's would some be some crazy man running around. Jeez. Yeah. You don't want to go to that guy's dogs. barbecue. I don't... Sounds like trouble. I um. Yeah, yeah, man. That's that's really alarming. Actually. I feel bad for the dog than anything. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine going out like that? Or like a dog. Like going outside and then finding out you're yeah. about to get eaten. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Uh, oh, hold on. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to get my bearings here. Um, you got some mo discs, Tim. Yeah, I do. And I really would like to use them. Um, this room, from what I remember, has everything to do with getting the passwords that we already used uh, for the computer. So I don't think we have to worry too much about this. There's a herb down there. Mostly interested in magnum rounds. No. You know what? At this point, nah. I'm saying no thanks. We don't need them. I know. It's weird to be in that position, isn't it? It's Especially almost insulting that they're even trying to give you that <laughs> at this point in the game. It's like, how do you think I'm trying to play this game? Um, so for now, I'm trying to think of where uh, Chris is being held. Oh, wait. Okay. I don't. That's right. Okay. Because the readers for the Mo discs right are there, scattered. Right? throughout there's three of them i was wondering if that was something that was just for the remake or if that was in the original i couldn't remember um so th i think there's one in here whoa why is hey everybody yo. naked down here hey oh yeah I th maybe they're like test subjects or maybe since there's some of the earlier dudes that their their clothes fell off maybe they maybe, maybe mid orgy maybe, maybe it was ate, just very hot down there could eat their clothes could have been uh this is it. This is one of them. I like the Modisk readers in the remake as well. Because they look like GameCubes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Uh, we'll see those, obviously. Hopefully. I don't need to worry about that. Is I the GameCube the worst looking system ever made? Or I the, like it. Or the coolest? That's what I want to ask. I think it's somewhere in between. I think arguments can be made for, for both camps. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's I definitely think they... got the toilet factor going on when you open it up. You think so? It looks like a toilet? A toilet? toilet? Well, it looks like toilet a toilet factor. seat going up, yeah. Huh, I hadn't ever thought about that. I think, what what do you guys think the reception would have been if it hadn't been purple? I mean, there was a, was it, was the launch one only purple? or was, No, there was a black was and black. purple, was but black one, yeah. they led with purple for like a year in okay. their, yeah. their marketing. I feel like the handle, maybe take off the handle. Yeah. It kind of looks Fisher Price toy-y in yeah, a way, maybe. right? The fact that it was purple and had a handle were the problems. I don't think the square is the pro uh, the cube is the problem. No. I love the concept of the handle where it's like, we want you to carry this thing like a tiny cartoon briefcase to your friend's house. Are these things respawning? To yeah, I think this room's actually pretty annoying. This room, I think you enter from... Gosh, how do you take it into that room again? Maybe I'll go into the scary area. The PlayStation 2 is pretty horrible looking too. Well, I, yeah, I was going to complain about the PS2 and even the Xbox, but I feel like the Xbox is the original Xbox. That problem was it was just so big. That was a massive piece of hardware. Just a big, huge, black obelisk-like thing. The Cadillac of 
<laughs> video game consoles. That's a that's a generous way to put that. Uh, you know what? No, I I want the shells. Okay. Ugh, that's a lot of inventory space. But maybe I'll use two more shells and then just be able to dump them all in there. Maybe I'll get another modus yeah. station. Really. This is an instant death puzzle. If you blow it. Was it the Atari Lynx? That was kind of ugly as well. Um. Gosh, you know, I don't know if I could pick one of those. I don't know if I could draw you a sketch of that. Now that I think about it more, like, I think we got in the wrong way. Like, the Wii U is pretty boring. They're all just black boxes. Yeah, the PlayStation 4 at least has some unique, you know, angles. Geometry, yeah. I like the PS4 way better than the, the Xbox One, personally. Yeah, I think, I think that the PS4 is my favorite looking console of, like, the new generation. Yeah, I liked what 360 was doing with the faceplates there for a while, mm -hmm. where yeah. you could like personalize it. That was cool. I just like the concave design, actually. I thought that whole thing was cool. Yeah, 360 was a, especially, yeah, that slim was a really, really good looking console. So we got a little bit of a box puzzle here. Box elder puzzle. Um, let me... Tim, when do we see titter monkeys? You know, <laughs> I'm glad uh, you didn't forget about those. No, God, how could I? Oh, you know, I didn't. I make, thought about them all night. I didn't make that up or anything. So <laughs> you were laying in bed thinking about uh -huh. tinder monkeys. Just I don't know, Jeff. I'm... I pushed this one a little too far back, so I'll have to push it over here a little bit to get a little a better angle on it. These these are the puzzles that you know time forgets. You don't really see this a lot anymore. Like no. this was just like the novelty is like uh, interact with a thing in a 3D environment. Yeah. Ta-da! And then hopefully the poison gas doesn't get through. That looks perfect, dude. There you Feeling go. pretty confident in that. Yeah. And I think there is a Mo disc reader on the other side. In of the this. shaft? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's Dead a disturbing bodies, room. Tim. Unlock, Unlock that. that. Yep. Cool. That's always a satisfying feeling. Click. There it is. This is a pretty uneventful room. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different in the uh, in the remake. None of those bodies move? Well, those are just static parts of the background. It's pretty obvious when, like, something's not going to be interactive. Yeah. I think, I think. Anyway. Especially in this generation. Yeah. I always love that because the color was off. And you're like, oh, couldn't they have matched that a little bit better? It's the Scooby-Doo effect, you know? That mm -hmm. door is going to open because it looks like it's drawn compared to the other things in the room, you know? I coined that phrase. Scooby-Doo? Maybe that's where I Scooby -Doo picked it up effect. from. Yeah, from, I think we talked about it replay a few years ago. How many coins do you need for me using that? That's the only one I had, and okay. I'm sticking with it. All right. Let's see Should here. Patent that. Trademark? Yeah, Ben Reeves, you have one. You have the Skeletor. Yeah, Skeletor. It's a post-credit sequence. That's pretty Make good. A movie? I think that's a pretty good... Or a game. It could be a game. ...thing to coin. I don't know if I've coined anything. Uh, Titter Monkey, Tim. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's right. Sure. I think... Stay focused. Quiet. Oh, is that them? What was that? Is that him? It's a titter monkey. Is that really what they're called? Uh, that, Baba. That Does is, that line up with your dreams? No, this is like a creepy alien thing. I thought a titter oh. monkey would be fun. Oh, man. They can take a lot of magnum rounds. Hold on. A titter monkey a little heavy in the torso, really maybe? Yeah. It looks like carnage. Hold on. It looks like a creepy alien, Tim. Man, oh my. I forgot about these guys. Holy hell. They're awful. Well, I'm using the wrong gun. I need to switch to the shotgun. I, magnum is... I don't know if I've ever thought to use... Oh, maggots come out of them. Oh, that's, yeah. cool. that's cool. Are Did those maggots? Are you sure? Uh, I think they are. Ah! Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Get him. All right. Ah! Oh, get out of there. Are you hitting him when he's up there? I don't like him. I don't think you're hitting no. him. No. I got him. So, uh, Tim, this is taking forever. That, that is a dream guys... turn nightmare. Yeah, that's nightmare juice. Ah! You're going to have to switch back. Hold on. I need to rethink some things here. Like yeah, you life. do. These guys are tricky. Like your whole career? Hold on. Shut up, Ben. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take uh, that, you bastard. Jesus. Are those like, uh, what was that movie, the hand cam Godzilla movie? Uh, Cloverfield. J.J. Abrams one. Oh. Yeah. You know where he had the little parasites yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, they just strike me as maggots. I don't know. I don't know. They look kind of like centipedes. Step on one. They look like caterpillars. I've decided to adopt a pacifist role with these titter monkeys. They're actually called Chimera. 
Well, how did you name the titter monkey? Because if you listen closely, you can hear them like tittering around. Like they just like, <laughs> and they say titter monkey. Yeah, that's right. When they die, Tim, really quietly. You have monkey. to crank the audio. Uh, all right. What else does the game tell Hold you? Hold on. Oh boy, there's another one. They are creepy. They aren't. They aren't awesome. There's another one. Get out of there! Get oh, out of there! Tim, it's got you. He's oh. monkeying you. What is happening? Yeah, those guys are brutal. I don't remember them being this much of a pain in the ass. Uh, hold on. Oh, caution. Is there any in here? No. Do you have some, like, explosive no. ammo? Uh, explosive ammo? That steam is freaking me out. I think this is just... It's quite big. It's, that's just oh, that's <laughs> basically self-destruct <laughs> system. It's um, very big. All connection switch. Elevator power is off. Turn it on. Yeah, I, we get how that works. Um, <laughs> there is another Modus reader somewhere in this area. Not necessarily back here. I think it might have been another turn in that last... Um, Where all those titty monkers, monkers were. Titty monkers? Jeff. Whoa! Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, it's titter. I could die again. <laughs> what are you thinking? Damn it. Oh, okay, it's good. Sorry. Uh, I could die in this room. Just as a heads up. I'm going to try to make it through. This is terrifying. No, all right, hold on. Good. Quiet. Oh my god! Oof. They're pretty fast. Too, too. Don't let him I don't want out. any! Don't let him get you. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if they respawn, so just give me a second. Are they growing wings? Are they just little baby I think monkeys? they are partial insects. I think oh. that is what these guys are. Yeah, maybe growing some wings? So, yeah, that I think that, that definitely could be it. Um, Tim, I am completely lost. I have no idea where you're going. Really? Well, yeah. What do you mean? What I'm trying to do is go back, get some health, um, maybe grab my bazooka. I think that would help. Okay, reloading my shotgun, grabbing my bazooka, and then I'm going to go back and maybe get some vengeance on those bastards. Some health. And hold on, Tim. Yeah. Ben Reeves, you need to holster that hostility. Let Tim play the way he wants to play. Yeah, Ben. Lay yeah, off. Yeah, man. Uh, I still have first aid spray. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. wasn't there a red herb somewhere? Uh, there was. I think you didn't pick up. Yeah. Spray it. Just dude. spray it, dude. Um, I think you should go get the red herb. People won't judge you. You don't think so? I'll no, judge just, you. Just spray it. I'm doing that. I'm taking the one green herb. I'm gonna go find that red herb. Did you reload? Yeah. Did you get your bazooka? <laughs> no, I didn't do any of that stuff. Ammo. Hold on a second. No, we're fine. What are you doing? Oh, ben Reeves. Tim. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jeff. Is this the part where I hand you the controller? I think. Oh, here you go, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. Monkeys. Okay. I got it. I got it, guys. Don't worry about any of this. Okay. Jeff, what are you doing? Uh -oh. Jeff, uh, what is this? Just what getting some exercise. Hey, look, you don't know how to... What are you... There's no. another herb. Oh, yeah, I'm... see? I found two herbs in All right. here that you never saw. Give me that back. Okay, what fine. Is that? Oh, it's back. Good to be back in the saddle. All right. I like that. That was kind of like a little radio yeah. drama. Well, <laughs> people don't know that I didn't, never actually handed you the controller well now they do oh crap you blew it okay i'm gonna grab these flame rounds and these shells okay what i'm gonna do is use these flame rounds just on the titter monkeys and then i'm going to uh probably pop the bazooka back in my inventory and then man we're we're almost done we gotta save chris get to the l well i have to go down in the basement actually um Get some revenge on titter monkeys. Did you know if you hold your ear up to a shotgun shell, you can hear the sea? Is that right? Mm, the dead sea. Where did you, did you, your, your, your pappy teach you that or? That's right. When we took his dog out, he was like. Wait, took him out? Took him out. You mean like for a walk? To dinner in a movie. Okay. So did you see like Air Bud? <laughs> yeah. And, and we took him back by a shed. And just showed him the shed? Just showed him the shells. You just made a pointing gesture with your hand. Right. It was me At the shed, the shells. Oh. oh. Here, put that up to your ear. It okay. was pretty Quiet. much the best day Okay, yeah. Let him focus. He sent me He's got problems. Okay, there you go. Is he dead? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, two flame rounds. Way to do it. Not bad. That's the way. You could do a lot worse than two flame rounds. Uh, let me go this way. 
think this mo disc is just it's always oh hey here it is he's dead ahead yes chris you're mine oh yeah what's barry gonna think about that um barry's you know barry's barry the he's, worst. he's the main man but chris is sort of a side fling the way i play anyway Jill's got more than one valentine. Barry! Where's Jill. Barry? So, I gotta go get Chris. That's that. And, and then it's straight on to the end of the game? Yeah, and it's like the last last legs. And, I think we can do this. Oh, I, I think we're totally fine. Uh, I'm gonna equip this for any zombies that want to interlope. Zombies like to lope. You see them skipping through fields yeah. all the time. Elope. Interlope. Antelope. Antelope. Cantelope. French bread loaf. What? What? <laughs> French bread loaf. Zoom tight, Jeff. Thank you. Are you you, you feeling okay? I uh, don't know. Uh, uh, yeah? How are you yeah. feeling? Something. Wait, something guys. Something zombie brains. Did you say, <laughs> yeah. did you say, oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> He's turning into something zombie brains. Does it just affect, like, Jeff's? It uh, might be oh a my Jeff gosh. disease. Oh, the dreaded Jeff disease. The J virus. Yep. What if your middle name's Jeff? Uh, then you're kind of sick, but... I'm good. <laughs> my middle name's John. It's a J. We'll yeah, see how it goes, just... Tim. Oh, here we go. Do we say Jill? cantaloupe? Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this I room. I mean, Barry's just a fling. That's not the predicament That's you're work. talking about, is it? Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. Yo, okay, yeah, no crap. Sounds like he's in a jail. I think I have to do one more thing with the story before, before I can save Freaking Chris. Yeah. It kind of sounds like the same voice actor, doesn't it? As, as who? As Barry. You think so? Kinda. Maybe they're the same person. Ooh. Do you ever see them oh in the gosh. same room at the same time? He just puts on a beard and then he becomes Barry. Whoa. Beardy Barry. Maybe he was trying to see if Jill would cheat on him with another man. You think there's any relation to Drew Barry? Drew Barry more? Maybe. Or Dingle? Oh, Dingle Barry. Dingle. <laughs> Peter Dinglage. Peter, Peter Dinglage, Barry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's his, that's his full name. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. If I'm going to fight the tyrant, I have enough uh, space. Let's do this. Isn't this the end of the game? We're close. We're real close. Jill. I got out of that jail cell. Don't He's not dead enough. yet. That's cool. Jill, you're here too. Yes. Chris, hi. Too? I mean... Uh, ba Look, Barry, I lost my way. Let's get going. I bet she calls him Yogi Barry. Do you and know why you lose your way, Yogi? So you can find it again. That's what they should have said. Give a cool moral. I always like this elevator for some reason. It looks way cooler in the uh, in the remake. Uh, you're gonna be hearing a lot of that. <laughs> Is there anything that doesn't look cooler? No, it's pretty much the <laughs> way cooler <laughs> game uh, across the board. But this has its place in my heart. Forever, and in my hands. You should have your heart looked at. Wesker, you did a fine job. Barry. That music. Just Barry. Oh, come on. What is this? I think you should stay away. This is Barry disappointing. I hear that his wife. Barry hurting me. Will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. Blackmail. So cruel. Or is it? What is that? Well, uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, ex, ex, uh, extortion. Extortion. I think it's entrapment. Why entrapment? Okay. Destroy stars. That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, what about the music? This disaster cannot Those textures. Be made public. Yeah, don't look at the wall. Stars nosing about. So We're playing this on PS3, by the way, which does so some weird things sometimes. Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. Virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Joe. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together. He's a beast. He just looks massive. 
I must complete my mission. I want him to be my father. <laughs> go up on the ground and wait there. Why would you do that? Why would you just Barry? Yeah, why? Why? <laughs> I could use another set of hands, but no, Barry, go upstairs. Yeah. Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Well, we take his okay, family's wives. That's, that's why. Well, I intimidated him. You think you answered your own question, Jill? <laughs> I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. Ding, so ping, ping, ding, ding, ding. If you succeeded in developing Sounds the like a shellac song. <laughs> biological weapon. You think what he's like, you wait a minute, why haven't I just shot you? What if you were in charge? He's just your classic you villain. Stop this now. He's got a rubber face in it. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. <laughs> no one understands its real value. God, Wesker's so, just a dick. What a bunch of idiots. Bunch of cool looking Better idiots. Yet. I'm going to show you the tyrant. And Wait, is that I'll what you call show it? You the time of your life. I mean the tyrant. Oh. Yeah, Barry! Oh, oh came back. That was Try good. Barry. Sorry, Jill. This music. Is, is this Barry's fun? soundtrack? Uh, Damn. Pitch the whip in Barry. I wish I realized it earlier. Barry's I name. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella. Barry. Barry. So He's Barry. Barry. Him. Barry. Barry Burton. Barry Burton anyway, put the hurt in the Wesker. <laughs> Four Jill. black sledgehammers. Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? <laughs> we have an idea. Whoa. Talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon. Whoa, Cold is that what it was? Something, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? I don't think you want to do Mary, that. Mm, you're that's so optimistic. inappropriate. <laughs> it would look bad what a weird word to choose. We let such a so optimistic, creature run Barry. Loose. Maybe but it's right. never going to happen, Barry. Let's Sorry. go then. Okay, Barry. let's go now together and see the tyrant, the Barry, biggest, you're... most deadly biological weapon ever. It wouldn't be right for us to let it live. Let's go to see it. Here we are. Ah, uh, this room's tyrant. awesome. Uh huh. I like this camera angle, by the way. I always thought this was cool. This intro? Yeah. Yeah. Or how it's kind of like looking at them it's through like his eyes. Through, yeah. The glass at them. He terrified me when I was a kid. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I saw this when I was 11 at my cousin's house, I saw this sequence and what he does and everything to Wesker. And like, uh, he terrified me. And the only reason I could go fall asleep was because I realized that he's like 11 feet tall like and he wouldn't really fit. The in the doorway <laughs> coming up from the basement. Like, that's the only way I could, like, as I'm, like, sitting in the sleeping bag, I'm like, he can't fit in the house. He's just too big. He wouldn't fit in here. It's, this is, it won't work. I'm fine. I fell asleep immediately. So in mind, in your mind, this guy would just be standing outside your door was, trying to get at you as you slept and you'd have to deal with it when you woke up? He was in the basement. Uh, that is where he lived because my cousin had a terrifying basement. Same cousin that introduced me to, like, Resident Evil and PlayStation games in general. So he'd wake up, you'd be eating your morning cereal, and he'd just be standing on the other side of the door. Yeah, like, just scraping his claws, and you could just hear his heartbeat because it's on the outside of his body. Why couldn't he just bend over, Tim? Nope. I'm not coming down. I don't think he was designed that way. Mm. Um, what's a bummer about this, a gentleman. this ending is I don't think we're afforded the awesome scene where the tyrant like impales Wesker on his giant claws. <laughs> Oh, because he's awesome. not in the room? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He might just smack Barry. That animation was pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that didn't look good. Oh, those Tim, are some happened? bloody claws. It can't control what it does. Okay, it's a weird thing to okay. point out. Yeah. Uh, after Barry died. Okay. Yeah. Talk about that out loud. Barry, don't take it personally. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> We should feel bad for it. It has no control. Okay, I want to kill him, but the camera angles don't do you many favors. Damn it. I think he takes about six shots. With the Magnum? Yeah. Or it could be three. There's always that chance. Or five. Or just or any seven. amount of numbers. Yeah. It could be more than 
More than zero. It wasn't three, Tim. It could be any number of numbers. I think it's six, though. Okay, I like this camera angle, actually. I like those computers. They're big. They're not messing around. Yeah, I don't think they had computers like that even back in 1996. It was strange that that, that didn't land. There you go. There we go. There you go. That's what we wanted. That's that's cool. I regret nothing. <laughs> I can't control what I do. <laughs> Barry? Barry? Life is so short. If you don't You're go alive. and check on Barry, I think. I think that also means he could die or something. I can't remember. I love you more than Chris. Clumsy. Let's get going. Sweet. You got it. I think he's still back away from you? Uh, After all you guys have been through? Hold me close. I think he's just... He's just... <laughs> he's just startled. Um, Jill, it hurts. Man, yeah, it's too bad we don't get to see Weston. The tyrant just ripped open my abs. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing so great. Bwonk, bwonk, bwonk. Should have put a bullet in him when you had the chance. No kidding. Would have been sort of a paradox for the entire series, but... There's not much time left for us. I don't think you can prove that. There's not much time left for this this game and the Super Replay either. Um, isn't it weird that Barry could just walk up behind Wesker and knock him out? Knowing everything we know about Wesker and like what he became and like... Yeah, just knowing he's so fragile. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think the idea is, is that Wesker, assuming that he gets like pretty brutally hurt by the tyrant in the, the canon ending of this game, I think that he injects himself with maybe T. Veronica or, or some variant, um, and that's what kind of helps him that's not how he back. die. Yeah. So in this one, he theoretically was just an, a man. I, I think so. He's just as human as you'll ever see him. He's just a dick. <laughs> a dick man. Yeah, he's a dickman. Mm. Yeah. His name's Wesker Dickman. Um, so we're just a man. We're past that. We're we're switching over to just bazooka. And I mean, you can pretty much bring everything at this point. Yeah, you're right. This is your last run, right? It pretty much is. Um, I'm gonna try to make it through without using any first aid sprays, but I'll bring one in case. I'll mix those. That's fine. Combine these. Oh, you don't want to save, Tim? Oh, I'm definitely saving. Okay. I always save before the final boss of this game, generally. Um, and then grab my, I think what is my final uh, ink ribbon? Yeah. Oh, man. Cutting it close. Yeah. Though they did try to hand me a few of them towards the end here. I just don't have any time for that. Ain't nobody. And I don't think we're going to need to go back to the guardhouse for a while. This is the first time we've saved. Mid replay. Mid replay. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. Okay. Now, are you sure you don't want to bring like a shotgun or something? I'm going to grab my another first aid spray. Let's see here. That armor key bugging me. I've got a lot of first aid spray, don't I? Let's look at it all. <laughs> Let's just look at it. That's I want it. Marvel. Look at that. That's guys. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I need to keep one spot open for a um, a battery. Okay. Otherwise, actually, you know what? I think I want to use this on my way out. So this is the pretty much the final showdown now, right? We are on our way. Uh, don't let me forget to grab Chris, that guy, because I think that his door unlocks with the uh, with the emergency, you know, self destruct system thing. It's a catchy tune. It is. This would be a good like alarm for your phone. So this isn't. Oh boy. Oh wow. Wow. He really oh, that blew that. Yeah. yeah, he had his chance. <laughs> He's coming in for a hug, and you just put the pass right by him. <laughs> yeah, it's like the running through the field towards one another, but he just whiffs it. Sorry, I'm already seeing somebody. <laughs> Those are the worst encounters when you go to, like, shake someone's hand, and they go in for the hug. Mm. Oh, 
Or it doesn't matter sometimes how high up top you put your hand for an obvious high five, and then they like clasp it. Yeah, you never clasp. Never clasp the high never five. Never ever clasp it. Super awkward. Yeah, if the hands if the hands above shoulder like height, just give a give a a nice high five. Hey. Oh, Sorry for keeping you waiting. So Ooh. everything is done. Well, almost. There's a yes. bed in here. Now let's go. This music's pretty romantic. What have you been doing with that bed? You know, have you been cheating on me with that bed? I don't think Chris follows you. I think he runs ahead, so you can't like. That's messed up. Screw around. This is this. I think it's just nonverbal communication. Hmm. Wait, no. Here he is. Oh, Chris. I really like the way you're. Chris, you're acting so distant. <laughs> Why won't you face me? He heard about Barry. Chris, I know these are dire times, but. Jill, I just can't look you in the face. I think we can. After I know. What well, let's make it like Barry. an album cover. <laughs> That's it. Barry probably tweeted about their relationship, and he's yeah. he's distraught now. The oh. Resident Evil. Oh, Wait, go. are you changing heart, Chris? Jill, I. No, no, no I'm not ready no. to go that far, Chris. But you're at least facing me now. Do you? Yes, I can finally look you in the eye. Do you do you smell? I smell. Old Spice on me. You know, Nobody loves Jill. I had to borrow Old Spice from Barry. That's the reason I smell like him. I think that's why I'm suddenly more attracted to you, actually. I think I've been attracted to Barry this whole time. I have to think about this. Uh, oh, you turned I away again. I don't think I can look at you. <laughs> Chris. Chris. Chris Redfield. Jill, let's not make this awkward. We both have to leave. Oh, uh, gosh. Get in touch with your feelings, yeah. Chris. I'm sorry, uh, Jill. Let's go. L but let's go. Oh, now you're talking to me? Sure. God, these guys aren't good communicators. They're never going to work. Oh, I don't think this is going to happen. I'm sorry. We, we did everything we could to bring them together. There's never, never going to be a, a Valenfield or a Red Tine, you know, celebrity couple. Oh, Red, ah! red Tine actually sounds like a fruit. Red Tine? Yeah. Well, Valentine's can be red. It, it's meant to be. Try my Mrs. Field tine. sells cookies. Mrs. You should. That's true. Who are these guys? Oh, nice shot. Thank you so much. Wow. That's totally what I was going for. Oh, fine. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you right. gave it a shot. Uh, uh, wait, Good wait. luck finding your lunch, buddy. Did Chris take a different route? <laughs> He's just really fast. The speedy Gonzalez of Resident yes, Evil. Yes, so speedy. There he is. Let's go. Let's do it. I like that little flick handshake they do to each other. Yeah. They're pretty styling. Um, Chris is like, hey, you think this single pistol is enough? I don't want to <laughs> be overloaded. Well, he didn't have a chance to go through the entire mansion and, and just raid the thing. Um, what's this? Let's just... I'm going to be super prepared. Feeling pretty good. Is that... You don't want more ammo? You know, to tell you the truth, I think we're going to be just fine. All right. I know why. I know why, too. Are you going to cheat, Tim? Mm -hmm. No. You have a cheat code? Yep. Cheap to win. I think that 13, uh, well, no, it's not going good. on 30. Yeah. was a terrible right. movie. I hear you, Tim. 13 pistol rounds or whatever, how many magnum rounds I have. I, th I think I'm doing pretty good. I always like this sequence. There's something kind of cool that happens. It's like off screen. We oh, worked it this out. is awkward. <laughs> we <were both laughs> well, now neither of you are facing me. We just can't. Neither of us can hmm. look at you, Jill. Well, come on. This is. This seems rude. This is unfair. I'm sorry. Guys, come on. I'm here. We've decided we want to become conjoined twins. I'm here. What? We're going to have a surgery afterwards. Guys, you don't want to have no. a conjoined twin nope. surgery. Nope. Barry, at you least you. Out Barry? We're matching blood types and everything. It just works. Chris is like, I've always wanted a beard. <laughs> This is the only way I can get it. Chris has a weird voice in your mind. Yeah. How I've always heard him. Cool. Don't try to get back to him or anything. <laughs> isn't this the thing where the... <laughs> isn't the battery, like, laying right here? And so it's just, just like... Eh. It's just this final fuck you where it's like, if... Hey, I hope you have one space in your inventory. Okay, yeah, no? Yeah, didn't. Yeah, I mean, if you'd have to, you'd have to eat some health or fire off some rounds or something. I think they're just trying to create one final thing to make sure that, like, actually, you know what that would be. 
what that would be is they put that battery there so that you have to clear a space in your inventory. And if you oh, didn't have yeah. things that were consumable, you could still go back to a, um, a storage box because you get something up on the helipad. Mm. So if you're at a p point of no return, you just be screwed. We figured it out. Yeah. Game design. You know, they're standing around and talking a lot for only having three minutes left. <laughs> yeah. I like that part because it's just like, oh, all the monsters are coming down the hallway. Use your imagination. Here they come. What do all the monsters coming down the hallway look like? And how did they hold them off effectively? Or sound like? Yeah, what, is, what does that cacophony sound like? Like, you, you play the entire game and there's never more than one enemy type on screen. Like, what does it look like when they're all in the hallway? I always wanted to know what that looked like. That would look really cool. Yeah. They should have done, like, an FMV or something. That would have been awesome. Yeah. Is. Uh, this part this part always creeped me out it's just so solitary and there are specific endings you can get where this is just it you just come up here and there's no Barry or Chris and you just light this flare and that's it like, where did they go are they having their surgery yeah they're getting conjoined they they're gonna like burst through the heliport after their surgery is completed I think they become tyrant yeah people don't talk about that enough and how could people not find this place? That's a good question. It's like, like a, a giant helicopter city here. Right also, here. it's morning, fully lit. I like that. I do like that time changes a little bit. It progresses. Yeah, they thought a lot about a lot of stuff in this yeah. game. It's some nice touches for sure. Look here out, comes Jill. Brad. Great. This is perfect. Good timing, Brad. Whoa! Oh. Oh. We thought it was he's over. He's back and he's pissed. And also not wearing any pants. He just really starts there. Come here. Now, I'm getting some memories Be fr hungry. from my knife run. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That's bad. Uh, Tim, that guy was super fast. Yeah, he is fast. He's, he's really upped his game. Can you beat him with your knife? Uh, I think I try to run towards his weaker side. You want to like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is. I'm getting. I'm, oh, this is not great. I'm getting memories from my knife run. I feel like this is like muscle memory at this point, but you'll probably prove me wrong. Like that. Well, you stayed up that time. Wow, yeah. staying on your feet. And I think I don't have to really worry about attacking him because um, Brad should just drop a rocket launcher. I yeah, think. that uh, should happen very soon. I think. I think you can you can speed it up a little bit by doing some damage to him, but oh crap! Oh boy! Oh. Get out of there! Timmy. Oh, he just tried to stab me to death. That would have done it too. Yeah, we that, don't want that to. That happen. absolutely was almost her undoing. This is. So when did you find time to actually hit him with your knife? Here? Oh, you, I just outran him. But I had I had spent so much time. Um... So can you kill him with your knife? Oof. Um. You don't kill him up here. You just wait. You wait out the clock. Is is all it is. It's just. Jill. Jill, that You're, an Amazon, Jill. You're an Amazon. Yeah, that's absolutely what he said. <laughs> You're what? An Amazon. <laughs> You're an Amazon, Jill. Uh, all right. What does he what? tell Chris? Uh, does he cro tell Chris that? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Oh, oh, Tim! Ah! No! Oh! No, no, Tim! Tim, get out of there! Oh what my are you doing? god! Yeah! Oh, oh no! yes! Look at it! Oh, that's so brutal! I was so greedy. I actually, somewhere in my mind, I kind of wanted that to happen. Oh, no! Oh, look at her! Ooh, that's such a brutal kill. And think about it. Think about her story throughout this game. Like, she was so close. She was so close, but she just got nervous at the end. Oh, it's it's still kind of exciting. Thanks I was for watching everybody. All right. <laughs> yep. Have a good one. All right. in here. That's it. We'll just do... super replays canceled. That's it. Well, that's, that's it forever. That's, that's just the end of it. The entire series. What um, if it erased your save file to you when that happened? Or if I had huge. been like super headstrong, yeah. I probably would have been more careful. I'm not gonna save. I, I will admit though that I was trying to uh, get into my menu at the, at the end there and use a first aid spray. Um. Well, you weren't trying to run, that's for sure. Yeah, you're right. I did. I did want to do a thing where I just like straight up just now shot him point blank. Really gonna love me forever. Yes, straight up. All right. 
Well, let's grab one of these, one of these. And There's, isn't there still the herb over there? Well, yeah, but I don't, I don't need that. Well, if you didn't want to use a spray, you could take that instead. Uh, I could, but I don't have another herb to mix it with, and it's pretty... One green herb is pretty nothing against a tyrant, I feel like. All right. That was exciting. My heart's beating kind of fast. Because that's, uh, that's the first death of the game, right? That is the very yeah. first one. But first. Yep. You died in Remake. Uh, Did you? Yeah, to reset the snake fight. Oh, yeah, on purpose, yeah. I mean, on accident. He's still not great. That terror monkey still gets no hugs. Look at him run. I get Chris's stupid butt. Um, we totally could have seen... We we're going to see the best possible ending with Jill, so that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, if we hadn't got Chris last time. Yeah. The no way, it still would have said done very... Chris, if Chris isn't there, it doesn't change the ending that much. The, I mean, because he's absent for so much of it. Um, like my father. Right, exactly. Right. The the canon ending is Jill, Chris, Barry, and Rebecca all on the uh, on it oh, together. Jill. And I think you're supposed to kind of use your imagination that like Chris is simultaneously kind of doing his thing with Rebecca, and Jill's kind of doing her thing with Barry, and that's how they split up. Um, I think that's the general vibe. Hmm. That's at least how I kind of always filled in the gaps, and the S.D. Perry novelization kind of implies that, too. When you're playing as Chris, do you run into Barry at all? No. Yeah, just the same way that Not I... Not even at the beginning. Uh, right, in the same way that I've never seen Rebecca. You don't even know Rebecca exists aside from that intro. Um, hmm. Or not even the intro, just from the uh, like the cast sizzle reel at the beginning. Right. That's the only way you'd know. Do we watch that whole thing? Uh, the intro? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. The cast is real. Yeah, we watched we watched all that. Cause Rebecca like tightens her bandana and then like makes this sort of like oh face. <laughs> That's right. No she looks Rebecca. Oh. She look kinda cute. Wow, that titter monkey really wants a hug. <laughs> yeah. He was just waiting that whole time. He's, he's feeling deprived. These scientists are all gone. I'm he's lonely. No one to hug. I lost my dog. <laughs> Burn, baby. That is good fire. Oh, animation. you could have taken those to mix it with it, Tim. It's the best fire animation. Yeah, I guess I could. If you want to, like, drop your. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying if you want to. Maybe I will. I like your style. Eh, maybe I won't. I think I can do it. <laughs> it's too much yeah. work. It is. These loading, these doors. You gonna try shooting them? I don't think so. I think that actually just sets you up to uh, to take more damage. At least that's the way I think of it. Remember Resident Evil Zero? We could actually like, drop any item we wanted. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It was it was nice. I I do wish that you could have like used a box if you wanted to or something. All right. There, there wasn't a great way to organize everything. Did I? Am I in yellow? Oh, no. So you could be like the sloppy player or the organized one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That that's what I would have preferred. I always wanted to play that game like with legit co-op because yeah. it feels like it's close, you know. They should re-release it with co-op. That would be awesome. Or if, Hurry. you know, I could just like split a controller in half and wire it around so that you could just, I don't know, because you could always control them with the other stick, you know. Yeah. In zero, I like zero a lot actually. The game's long too. If you really want to see me sweat at any point. We do a super replay, and you sit me down in front of Code Veronica, and I will sweat bullets because that game yeah. is long and hard as hell. Super hard. That first like, that first test of, like uh, with the tyrant on the plane is just like the hey, I hope you've been smart up until now because if you're not, you're just done with the game, or you're gonna be fighting this tyrant for. I could see us doing an entire episode of just trying to fight that tyrant on the plane. Yeah, I remember getting up past that part and thought I might have to reset the game. To replay yeah. the whole thing. I think more a, conservatively. I think a lot of people did. Yeah, actually just yeah I think that was that. a turning point for a lot of people. Man, it was so brutal. I remember, I remember one save I had with Code Veronica where I had no health and like very little ammo, and I was up against the poisonous hunters, and I had to reload my save and like I had to like just limp down a hallway with one poisonous hunter, and I was like danger limping, and I had to try it so many times. It was the most brutal thing. God, that game. 
I still, I still maintain. But does that, does that make you like it more? Ah, uh, it, it makes, it? It, it, it does make me like it more. It makes me like want to get revenge against the game. Mm. Like it makes me want to. I feel like I have an axe to grind with Code Veronica. Like I mastered a lot of these early Resident Evils. Like I got pretty good at them. Um, but Code Veronica is elusive. So is three. Three's really hard because they're constantly throwing boss fights at you practically with Nemesis. Like. If you want to get all these extra like fun items and stuff, you gotta fight them at every turn, and you get like these extra weapon upgrades and stuff. Um, it's pretty—he's he's tough. He's not an easy guy to fight, especially when he mutates, gets the tentacles, and he's fast. He's so fast. All right, here we go. Well, Tim, I think we should super replay all the Res Evils. Yeah, we're on our way. You know, I would do that, right? Turn this into this. You know that no one would be more excited about that than me. Uh, what would have been cool in hindsight is to do them all in chronological order. Yeah, well, we already did we two, up. right? It's okay. Yeah. Oh, we could do the uh, alternate playthrough of who is it? Claire? Of two? Yeah, my, our, our our Claire scenario. That save's got to be here somewhere. If it's not, I can pick up from one of my other Claire B scenarios. Yeah, that that'll be awesome. It would be fun to do is to go back and watch the original two and just see how I played and stuff and um, what we talked about and everything. Because it's been a while. Yeah. I mean, that's... We've been doing this show for a long time now. Yes, we have. All right, Mr. Tyrant. When, when did that rocket launcher drop? Like, around, like, 30, 30 seconds? seconds? Yeah, 38 yeah. seconds, something like okay. that. Good luck, Tim. Thank you. Don't die, Tim. I'm trying not to. Great start. It's still in the zone. That is scary. What it's... would happen if you just waited longer before dropping the flares? Uh, well... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't yeah, have as much a time. Good question. Oh gosh! I don't like this. That was me just no. trying to take one shot. Yeah, that's rough. How are we doing? Good. You can get him. Get him. Okay. Woof! Oh, he's got some range on yeah, him. Yeah, that's not good. I think you. Oh, oh crap! Okay. Why would yeah. you make something like okay. this? You gotta get the tyrant? Here. Yeah. Yeah, he's just unreasonable. I'm not gonna put him in the trenches or anything like that. Right. Even if we still had trenches. <laughs> but it's not like you you can't control him. So Yeah, that's what no, I mean. Like yeah. he's he's just uh, You'd have to drop him on like the enemy headquarters and just be like, oh. well, see you later. Oh, I like that, Baba. That's why you make him. He has Keep no him will. in a metal box mm -hmm. and then just drop him. Damn. He has no will of his own. Oh boy. Yeah, he's doing a number on me. Hold on. Oh! I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to just get the hell past him. Use a speed ladder. Oh, it's hard for me to discern what uh, side his claw is on sometimes. Speed ladder out of here. Uh, uh, where is it? I think you're standing too close to him is part of the problem. Well, the camera angles aren't doing you any favors. Tim, where is it? Tim! It's fine. Don't worry about it. Rocket oh. launcher, where is it? It's fine. Yeah, why? Don't worry about it. Okay, there oh, it is. Oh, no, he's going to get it. <laughs> Picks it go. up. That would be hilarious. Shoots himself. That'd be good. His feet look like normal feet. You ever notice that? Jill, use this bazooka I bought on Amazon. <laughs> okay, we're fine. That's the Amazon fire. Fire this Amazon rocket. Uh, yeah! Oh! 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 Just pieces. That's it. All right, everybody. I hope Barry and Chris can make it up in 13 seconds. You know what? Somebody told me once if you like twitch your muscles. Just oh, his right, mouth's moving. Ugh. When you get shot, your muscles will like contract and like absorb the bullet. Oh, really? Like stop the bullet? I mean. You want to test it? Come on. Do you have a gun? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's check it out. It's conceal and carry law in, uh, in Minnesota. Call your cousin. Okay. Good landing? Yeah, nice work, Brad. He nailed it. He's running on fumes, practically, so. Okay, take your time. It's not like there's a self-destruct sequence that should have detonated 10 seconds ago. How oh, boy. Oh, that's, a oh that's a great explosion there. <laughs> oh, it's a nuke. Oh. Yep. Oh. Good graphics. Oh, that was something. <laughs> it looks like he's just looking <laughs> what at What are the you doing? Fires it off. It's the propeller. 
They had to put him over there just in case you got the ending where Barry wasn't in there. Just cleaning his gun and stuff. That's a good point, actually. He's Not, all business, that Barry. Yeah, no kidding. Wouldn't he just be like staring at a picture of his family or something? <laughs> He's just smiling, thinking back. Oh, what a day. What's the ending music? Oh, again? and it's a Monday. Is it like a rockin'? Oh, yeah, it's so cheesy. Oh, my gosh. Look, Amazing. Think back on all the good times with this music. Just, I like they the danger limping. Seriously weird that the voice actors just get their first name. <laughs> this is like, it's so weird. Look at this. The music, it's like the end of like a uh, like a 80s like high school movie, like yeah, Pretty Pink is. or something. It's just like, oh, oh, our friend Fred Forrest. Oh, and then Jan. Who could forget Jan? Where is he now? Jan went on to host The Tonight Show. He'd be pretty good. Oh, Plant 42. He was planted in the forest and raised a family where he sleeps and takes naps. Sounds like Sonic Adventure music. Those are some it totally wacky does. Adventures. Oh wow! Wesker went on to continue heading up the Stars team. They forgave him for his transgression, and now he has real whiskers. Boulder went on <laughs> to have a successful movie career in Indiana Jones. That's correct. Barry and Jill were never able to patch up there after that. After that hunter encounter, after that he developed an addiction to crack. <laughs> Whoa, dark. Titter monkey still just tittering away. Looking for hugs. Still looking for a better name. Places. <laughs> and gun. And Barry. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't see you behind me there. Gadzoo. Yeah, Just appeared. Oh. I like that. That was hilarious. Barry's like, abs have not recovered. I like that these are generally all moments from my playthrough. Don't fight him like that. Isn't that what they did? They just took your playthrough? I guess so. It seems like most of it lines up. Tyrant went on to become a donor. That's right. Donated his, all the organs. They're very easy to access. That's it. I think, Kick ass. I think we unlocked, sweet. unlocked the costume key. It's it's kind of a weird uh, end to this game because we continue. Oh, also that? very <laughs> weird. I don't Who even is remember that? This. That's Jill. Is that Jill? Seriously? Yeah, big time. She had a bunch of hair Just stuffed underneath that beret. I think that's Samus. Out. You sure that's not a Target ad or something? <laughs> Celebrex. Come check out the softer side of Sears. Um, yeah, there it is. And then they show you the room where you can change uniforms. And I think she just gets like um beret. No, she. she I think she's wearing like a tank top or something. Um, hmm. just like street clothes, like a black tank top and like green pants or something. I think. How long does that take to get to? Uh, a while. You need to get like a key and stuff. But in case we ever want to, uh, for some reason, come back. Go back. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Well, next up is more remake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that was a pretty uh, pretty close to a standard length episode. Yeah. Tim. your death uh, definitely extended it. That's right. I do what I can. That's it was almost a perfect it. playthrough, but uh, at least we got to see a cool death there. I'm happy we did. Those uh, those deaths are huge. Are a huge part of this game. So, final thoughts. I'll start with Tim. I like this game still a lot. <laughs> it holds up well. It was a lot of fun. The it's- style of game. I think is somewhat timeless. Yeah, this this comparison has been so much fun. I can't believe I've never done this before. They need to do so many more games like this. Like uh, Metroid is a huge influence on the gaming community, and people are still making like Metroid style games. Yeah, but I don't know why people aren't making Resident Evil. I, I think it's a matter of time. Someone's gonna do it eventually, and and find a way to make it like true to like what they had done before, but not make it fun to play or campy in all the right ways. Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a matter of Let's time. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Why Let's, are we waiting for someone else to do it? Let's do it. And Fava, outside of starting your own company, what? Uh... You know, it was weird because all of that was familiar, and I swear I haven't played this game, so I don't know <laughs> what is going on. That must have been Some bizarre. Kind of former Nothing life, but yeah, it's Japanese really interesting. I think I think the thing that held up the worst are the full motion video sequences, which I'm sure oh, the intro they were and super proud of really at the bad. time. Did you see this one, Jeff? Uh, I don't. You've probably seen it at some point. Is this is this when like the dogs come through the yeah. grass? Yeah, yeah I just started playing yeah. it again. Uh, maybe now's the good time to admit that I've been playing the whole time, Tim. Oh, I yeah. I was hoping we could just just bury, bury that uh, that little bury it. Yeah. yeah, and you know this is the end of one super replay, but we already have the or we have the other uh, Res Evil super replay going, so that's going to continue and. Um, we're going to have a little surprise for you uh, for the next episode where the classic would have been. So that would be, what, episode 11? I think so. Uh, we're not going to reveal it yet, 
So it's going to be cool, though. Uh, I will say that much. So mm-hmm. stay tuned until then. That will be uh, next, you know, a week from now. And in a couple of days, you'll get uh, more of Remake. So we'll see you in a few days, everyone. We did it. Yeah.